Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Are you looking to build a good quality, high performance electrical mounting board? You don't know where to start? This video is for you. What you see in front of me is everything you need to build, in my opinion, a good quality and reasonably priced electrical skateboard. From deck to electronics to motors to tires to gear drives, all the little bits we will cover in this video. So let's start with the chassis, the deck. Because we're building the mounting board, this will be the mounting board deck. My choice for this board was Hiero Bro 96. Most of you guys already know this deck really well. The one I'm going for is a stiff one. However, I'm not going to lie to you, I am not the biggest fan of the design or with the graphics itself. However, the performance of this deck is absolutely superb. I've got a little bit something planned for the looks of it, but you're gonna have to wait for the next video for that. So here is, there's the deck. If you want to enjoy your mounting board, you definitely should go for full bindings. My choice for this board are the MBS F5s, the best bindings, most comfortable bindings you can get. As since it is a mounting board, I'm going for some 9 inch tires. Why 9 inch you say? Well, it gives you nice clearance, they're also much much softer and nicer off-road. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go for 9 inch tramper mud pluggers, which I absolutely love and I got them on my other board, or the diamond cut. Diamond cut will give me a bit more freedom to go off-road and road. However, the mud pluggers are strictly off-road. You will wear them out really fast if you use them on asphalt every day. Another very important part of any electrical uh, mounting board is actual drivetrain. So are you going for bell drives or gear drives? It's up to you. In this particular build, I'm going to use gear drives, but not just any gear drives. These here are the Finality by 3D services. These were custom anodized for me to match my design of the new build. These ones here, I'm going to have to have a separate video to show you in full detail because the concept of these drives is absolutely different from anything that was ever seen in the market. There are no actual bearings as you got used to so far bearing spacer, bearing axle, not speed washer, speed washer, none of it. It's actually a hub like you would find in the car. So what I'm going for are the finalities with helical gear drives. We'll cover these gear drives and hangers in one of my future videos in much more detail. Just quickly guys, the reason why I've chosen the gear drives especially the ones that I've got from the services. You don't need separate hubs, hubs come with it. They actually like a car. You take them off five studs. You don't need to worry about the belts. You don't need to worry about the sabling because you get fully built gear drives, good to go. Just put the tires on, inflate them, go. So now very quickly about the easy part of it, electronics. Let's start with the brain of the board, EC or the VESC. I'm going for HD60 by Tramper, purely because they are tiny, they are 75 amp per motor, 150 constant, good enough for me. If you want to know a bit more about this, take a look in the description below. There's a full review of this new HD60 VESC. Enclosure, 100% waterproof enclosure by 3D services, purposely made for the VESC HD60. Again, full review is on my channel. I actually had this in a bucket full of water and it does work. No water got in it. So what does actually move your board along? Motors. And what I'm going to use for my build are the custom made motors for me. These ones here are 6385, 5000 watt each. They were reworked a lot fully battle hardened, replaced bearings, replaced sensors, but this should be 
quite nice, beautiful addition for a new custom board. You don't have to use these particular motors for a good electrical mounting board. Matic or Flipsky 6374s, 190 or 170 kV will be good as well. To control your board, you will need a receiver. It's up to you which one you want to use. Flipsky VX2, perhaps a bit cheaper. However, for this build, I'm going for Trampa Vesk wand. The reason for it, new HD60 now does have the Bluetooth module inbuilt. So connecting to your app on the phone does not require an additional piece of hardware sitting in your EC enclosure. At the same time, connecting the wand to it is straightforward. So I'm going for one of these. And yes, it's blue. Custom designed, custom 3D printed case. Very nice, got a beautiful grip to it. Next one up, battery. I'm not gonna show you every single box that I will require of these cells to build the battery, just a single one. Molly cells, 21742P, that is my choice. Not the first battery I've built with these already. If you're interested how to build one, guys, there's an hour and a half long tutorial, very detailed tutorial on how to build the battery, what you need, what the battery is is all about, how to do it. Take a look guys, I will leave the link in the description below. For this build, I'm going to use 12S7P. Why 7P? Not too heavy, but big enough to take the abuse I want to put this board through. 210 constant amp draw off the pack. Good enough for me. I'm estimating about 28,000 milliamp capacity Brilliant. Probably about 20 miles off road, 35 miles on road range. Beautiful. Obviously, you will need some good quality silicone cables. I'm going to use six gauge for this battery. You will need some captain tape. You will need some nickel. I'm going for 25 mil by 0.2 millimeters nickel to tie the cells together into one powerful battery pack. Anti spark connectors. XT90 is a little bit small for this build. Well, this beast here, the 400 amp connector, probably a bit too big. So, what I'm going for is 150 amp XT150. And in order to control your battery pack, you will need the BMS, battery management system. I'm going for a smart one, comes with a little Bluetooth dongle, and the beauty is you can talk to your battery pack using the phone. Using the app, it can tell you the voltage, the HP pack uh, charge, you can change your uh, balance uh, characteristics and the rest. These things here, not too expensive, but good enough for what they need to be. Don't forget the waterproof switch to go with your EC. If you're not gonna use the HD60 with inbuilt Bluetooth module, you will require a Trampa Vesk dongle. It pretty much does exactly the same, but it's another set of cables, another unit to have in your box. So we have covered all the main bits that you will require for an awesome electrical mounting board. Just a few other things I want to show you. I'm going to be using a real carbon fiber, custom cut, anti-sync plate. These are helping you to tighten up those trucks without worrying the bolt sinking into your deck. However, I'm using them for another reason. They have a nice and smooth surface, and the smooth surface gives me a chance to use GoPro mounts. Yes, double-sided tape. Trust me, they work like a dream. Use a 3M tape, and you're good to go. So for the front, I'm gonna use this floodlight. This is a replica of a GoPro underwater uh, camera light. It is 350 lumen. Got three different settings. It is nice and bright, so my front is good to go. For the rear, very similar light, waterproof, however you will get a red film over the glass, so it looks like a stop light if needs to be. Easy to take off and also you can mount a camera on it, front or back. I do normally like wiring the lights into the main battery, for instance on my street board, front and the rear is wired in. This way you don't have to worry about lights running low on the battery. 
However, for off-road, I personally believe the simpler, the better. The battery, EC, the motors. That's the only wiring I want to see. That's it for this video, guys. It's a nice little overview of what you will need to spend the money on to build yourself an awesome electric mountain board. If you want to see anything in, de in more detail, stay tuned. I will have the build videos coming up very soon. Build safely, ride safely. See you shortly. So let's start with the basic, not the basics. So let's start with the chassis. Yes. So let's start with the chassis. Chassis meaning this, this, yeah, yeah. this. Yeah, but it's 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 the singular is the plural. So let's start with the chassis. Chassis. <laughs> I'm fucking put in it. No, 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 no. Absolutely correct. It's a really cool. I'm not sure how to. Are they looking okay in there? What? Well, I'm going to be um, doing kind of this, I think. I can... It's complicated going hops. So, nope, scrap that. No good. Boom, 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 boom. With some Japanese bearings, but much more detail in my video that's coming up next. And I should not have said that. One, two, three, one, two, three. One more time. You don't particularly have to use these kind of motors for your mounting board. Maytech or Flipsky 63... And to control your battery, you will definitely need BMS, the battery management... Blah, 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 blah. Now, 